There's a big push to roll back Proposition 47, which reduced drug possession and thefts worth, worth less than $950 to misdemeanors. Supporters of that law say it kept people who commit low-level crimes out of jail, but opponents say it emboldened thieves. Now there are two competing measures to reform Prop 47. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Thon breaks it all down. Across the Bay Area, we've seen shoplifters snatching items from store shelves. Back in 2014, state voters passed Proposition 47 to relieve jail overcrowding. But some people blame Prop 47 for letting thieves get away. Now there are two competing measures to reform Prop 47. You know, we could have dueling, we could have two measures competing for voter support. Both work to address retail theft and drug addiction, specifically the fentanyl crisis. Stephen Clark is a legal analyst and former district attorney. This is going to come down to politics. Who gets this message out better to the public? Everyone wants to champion the idea that Prop 47 needs to be tweaked and needs to be changed. A Republican-backed ballot initiative to roll back Prop 47 would boost penalties for some theft and drug offenses. That measure is backed by the District Attorneys Association and the mayors of San Jose and San Francisco. It's already on the November ballot. The second measure, Senate Bill 1381, still requires legislative approval to get onto the November ballot. Governor Newsom, Democrat leaders, and the California Retailers Association all support the bill, which cracks down on retail theft and the deadly drug fentanyl. Critics say it's a weaker crime initiative. Some worry the competing measures could confuse voters. While they have taken some steps forward with this proposal, they've also taken one giant leap backward by removing the tools we need to get people into treatment. On this Tuesday, San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan addressed both Prop 47 reform measures. The measure that's already qualified for the ballot, the DA's measure, includes the ability after multiple offenses to have court-ordered treatment. He says the most important goal is to get people into treatment. I want to make sure that both measures, if both are on the ballot, give us the tools at the local level to compel people to get the help that they need. In San Jose, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.